This is question number five on the November 2014 non-calculator paper. Part A simply says solve the inequality, and they've given you this inequality here, 6y plus 5 is greater than 8. Now, a lot of you will be familiar with solving equations. However, the challenge here is the inequality. To be honest, it makes no difference at all to the equation. You just have to solve it overall. They want us to solve, so solve means to work it out. My final answer is going to say y, and instead of saying y is equal to something, I need to make sure I put in that inequality, right? That inequality there. If you don't, if you put y is equal to a number, you lose a mark. So make sure your answer is in this form, and that's what we want to get to. So we need to get rid of the y, uh, the 5 first, and then the 6. We get rid of the 5. If we use the balance method, the opposite of adding 5 is to take away 5. So 6y is going to be greater than 8 take away 5 is 3. Now I need to get rid of that 6. To get rid of that 6, I need to divide by 6. So I'm going to get y is greater than 3 divided by 6. Now 3 over 6 is the same as, if you think about it, 3 over 6 is the same as a half or 0 0.5. So I could put that in my answer space. 3 over 6, instead of putting 3 over 6, I'm going to put y is greater than a half. You could have put y is greater than 0 0.5. Both answers would get you full marks in this. So make sure you do understand that and make sure you do put the inequality in there. Part B, here is an inequality in X shown on the number line. They want us to write down the inequality. So this is straightforward, right? And you should be familiar with this sort of inequality. It's going to have X. And I'm going to have a less than sign and a greater than sign there. I need to decide whether they're going to be equal to or not. Because this is not solid, right? it's not going to have an equal to sign. So it's just going to be less than. Because this is solid, it is going to be less than or equal to. Okay, And I just need to put the numbers in. And in this case here, at this end, I've got minus 3. So I'm going to put minus 3 over here. And on this end, I'm going to have 4, so I'm going to put 4 there. I'm just going to write that into my answer space. Minus 3 is less than x is less than or equal to 4. And that's pretty straightforward, easy two marks. Make sure you know it, make sure you can understand it, and do it in an exam.